Well, welcome back. And I've just spent the past day or so um, finding out whether Kentmere, Rowley, RPX and Agfa Apex are the same film. And I've spent some time taking some photographs of identical things. Just one photograph of one thing because it gives the, like a full colour spectrum. And then developing them the same. The one thing I forgot to say throughout the actual filming is because I'm filming this introduction after I've finished. So there is that. Um, so I actually developed the film in Microfen. And I don't think it was a good developer for the three films. Um, they look really, really grainy. And I don't think it's the probably, I just don't think it's the right developer for that, that sort, of, uh, for, sort of film. Now, not until the end will I say what I think, but I think you'll realize as we go through the actual videos, you'll see and come to a conclusion quite soon whether they are the same film or not. Anyway, um, I'll catch you at the end of the video. So going on for my introduction, this is the set out I'm going to have. I've got the, as you see, I've got the three films. I've got the APX, the RPX, and the Kempmere. As I said in the introduction, someone claimed that these were all the same emulsion. And the idea is to try and either prove that or disprove that. Now, as I said in the introduction, before I'd even bought the films, I'd worked out what the truth was. And I will explain that at the end of the video. Right at the end of the video, you'll find that out. Because it's quite easy to do, to work out whether an emulsion is the same as another emulsion. And there's different ways of doing that. But we're going to take the long method of taking a photograph with each of the films, just one frame with these uh, objects. I'm going to be using my Practica BX20. And um, just going to literally take one frame develop the frame, and then change films. So that's how it's going to be done. And the idea is you get different types of um, colors and shades. So uh, you've got the, the whites, the blacks, and uh, the red, the green, and the blues, all in, all in the same shot. They'll all be set up the same, or be taken the same, or developed in the same developer, which would then give us something that should be, if they're identical, they should be the same. So, until we get to the point where I'm checking them on the actual computer, we, we won't actually know. So one other thing I wanted to show you was the actual film itself. Now, I haven't got the right lens and fittings at the moment to do a really good close-up shot of the three of, three of them together. There's another one on the end. Um, so you should be able to tell from here that by looking at them, I go from left to right, and it always goes Kentmere, APX, RPX. So these films, these are the three films, and just looking at the emulsions, they look pretty much identical. They don't look any different to any of the others at all. The one on the far end is a Fomapan 200, and you can see clearly the difference between that and the others. So it's just to demonstrate just how close the colours are, or the uh, the film is for the for the Kempmere, the APX, and the RPX, and then the Fomapan, to so give you some idea of how much different it really is. Couldn't really set up this shot much better, but it gives you an idea. So now we're going to go onto the computer and, and do a proper comparison. Okay, so rather than show you how I convert all three of the images, I'm just going to do it on one for you, so you can just see how they're all going to be done in exactly the same way. And then I'm going to look at the histograms of the three photographs. And then I'm going to do a, a comparison between the three. I've got this new software I found. I can actually compare the images together. And I've already done some experiments with this and I think it's pretty good. Now you must bear in mind that I've already done this and um, I'm just recording this now. So I, I needed to do it in this way round because of time and stuff like that. So you, you're gonna see it um, when I already know what the answer is. So I'm sorry for that, but that's the way I had to do it. So all I tend to do on here is I just tend to invert the image like so. And then what I do is I just tend to use the levels. Now you can actually just choose darker, lighter or default. So I, I tend to bring up the default like so. And 
I tend to pull them in, and I will with these, to the points where the, the peaks start here and here. I don't tend to use this trail off here. And I've done exactly the same on all of these images. So all I literally do is I pull the black to there, the white to there, and then just close that down. And that's basically my finished image. I'm not going to do any other adjustments to them, but they'll all have the same adjustments done. There won't be anything done differently on them. So let's have a look at the histograms. Okay, so now I've got the three histograms up. I took some screenshots of them. And I always, I t the first shot I took was with the Kent mirror, and I did the Apex and the RPX. And I've done them in that order, so I'm going to do that in order every time I show things. So when you see the images come up on the screen, when all the three of them together, you'll see them in this order as well. Now, looking at these, they are all pretty similar. And um, you can see um, both the Kent mirror and the APX, the um, AGFA APX, are very very close and the RPX isn't quite the same now I think there's a reason for this and I don't think it's I think it's to do with the way I captured the last image um, there's a slight flaw on it and I think I can show you that but looking at these they are all very very similar um, so now what we're going to do is I'm going to take you and have a look at the actual three images and compare them to each other rather than just look at the histogram you actually see the images and you can see them you can probably see them down on the bottom here somewhere but um, i'll put them in a software that can actually compare the three of them against each other and it actually shows if there are any differences as well so let's have a look at those okay so this software is called WinMerge, and it basically compares multiple files and i and so i've chosen to compare the camp mirror picture the um, APX and the RPX, so the AGFA and the Rarity films, and I think you're going to be surprised. So here we go. First of all, what I will do is I'll put the highlighter on, and that should show us any differences in the image. And I thought if I pull that out fully, you can see it hasn't really found any at all. They all pretty much are the same on here. So if I zoom that, it's so difficult to zoom this software. There we go. So I come to about there and then take that off and um, we can scroll through the image and look at the differences and do you know what i really can't tell there's very minor differences i mean we're talking minor differences that you have through a slightly different exposure or um, a minor difference that um, in developing having said that i actually developed the three films in the same tank at the same time and there's a giveaway so let's scroll down so looking at all the different colors the jokers if i go to the king so that's the black king there and the blacks aren't particularly strong other than the one at the back and you see the kent mirror is slightly lighter than the other two and the, probably the strongest one is the apx and again when you look at the top of the rubik's cubes again these two are sim more similar than this one is um and go across and up and we'll look at the other joker at this side like right, so uh, and again looking at these without a prolonged look just just having a quick look at them you can they all look the same they all look the same so let's come back and uh there we go just before i forget i just wanted to say another thing that i noticed is the grain is pretty much identical as well so they, they are very 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 similar across the whole board in fact, I think they're identical. Just looking at them on here, they d they don't look any different whatsoever across between any of these at all. So that's another sign as well. Anyway, you'll find out my conclusion at the end. So, what did you think? Do you think the three are the same, or do you think they're different films? I honestly think they're the same. They look so similar. Um, they were actually developed together uh, in the same time. And the other thing I'd say, what I said at the end, was to tell you how I worked it out before I bought the films. I checked the developing times across different types of developers, and they were all the same. And that is like a, an indication that there's some similarities between the films. The RPX said about 30 seconds longer, but that's neither here nor there, really. Um, but 
that's how I come to the conclusion originally when I bought the films. That these are actually going to be the same film. They're not going to be different. The other thing that people say about it is, is it a good or a bad thing to do rebranding? Well, we've had it for years. Since I was a kid, I remember looking through the catalogues and seeing a tape player there. And then looking at another catalogue and seeing the same tape player, but with a different name. So rebranding has been around for a long time. In fact, it happened with all the home brand uh, films like Boots, home brand. If you're from the UK, if you're not from the UK, that's a, a chemist, a big chemist shop. Um, uh, the Jessops, the you know David Smith, all these different companies had their own branded film, but they were all the same. They were they were mainly Ferrania, from what I, I can recall. But they also then went on to the Fuji, like the Tudor that I've done a film uh, video on before. That was actually branded um, C two hundred, rebranded C two hundred. So we we get it a lot within in the film industry. And if you're that worried, about it, just be more discerning on what you buy. You know. Anyway. Hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one.